Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Python for Beginners. And today we are going to discuss variables and string. So before moving forward in the video, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do so. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to know in the variable is it's a storage location with a name. So you just have to give a name and after that you'll be assigning some value in it and it will be kind of a storage location for it. The second property is a pair of a name and its value or you can say a name and a value pair. Now syntax is something like this. So if you have given a variable named dog, you can put a value inside it like husky or another example is Shiva in. So this is how you can do it. This is a very basic syntax, but you have to keep a few things in your mind before defining it or declaring it. First of all, it is case sensitive. Case sensitive means capital H husky, lowercase h husky and h s y three uppercase letters in one variable are three different variables, but allowed. So basically all of these are allowed, but you can see the casing is different. All lowercase over here, three uppercase, two lowercase over here and starts with this one starts with H capital. So this means that all three are different variables, but all of them are allowed. Second thing that you should keep in your mind that it must start with a letter, but can contain numbers. For example, it is starting with a number. So this is wrong, but this starts with a letter and number can come inside like between or something, which is right. So this is perfectly all right. Third thing you should keep in your mind is that underscores are allowed and other sp uh, allowed other special characters, nopes. So for example, my underscore age is just fine. But if I would have written my plus age, it's not correct. So that's how it works. Let's move on to strings. Strings is a very nice concept. So the first thing is they are declared in quotes. So single inverted comma or double inverted inverted comma, it does not matter. It should work both ways. It's a text representation. For example, you want to write a sentence, you want to write a paragraph, you want to write a line and you want to give some value. So this is something known as strings. So this is how it works. So you can give dog equal to husky within double inverted comma and dog equal to Shiva Inu in double inverted comma over here. But in case I would have given it single inverted comma, it would have worked in that way as well. So that's not a problem. Now the question comes if you want to include quotes in your strings. So how do you do it? So we have four examples for it. So this is the first one. First one says this is my variable name. This starts from single inverted comma or single quote. This should end with single inverted comma or single quote. But you can include double inverted comma inside. So it will only match the first thing that it starts with. So this is single quote. So it ends with single quote and you can use anything between it should work. The vice versa example, if it starts with double inverted comma, it should end with double inverted comma. But inside you can use a single inverted comma, which is perfectly fine. Now this is a new case, single quotes in a sentence. So in this sentence, what you have is a single inverted comma and you have a double inverted comma. Now what to do? So we have introduced a backslash character which will act as a escape character for you. So now if this starts with double inverted comma, it should end with double inverted comma, which is this. And inside that, anything that comes with double inverted comma, you should give a backslash before it so that it can be escaped. Otherwise, it will match the pattern and end the string here itself. So he asked backslash inverted comma. So this will be this will be ignored. It will move forward. And then this is double inverted comma. It will be ignored because there's a backslash character, which is an escape character over here. And the sentence will be printed. Same case, but vice versa. Double quotes in a sentence. So inside there is a double quote. You can see, but your sentence started with your string started with single inverted comma, then it should end with a single inverted comma, which is this. Now here, the same thing you have to do. You have to introduce this character so that the next thing can be escaped. So he asked comma, double inverted comma started. So had it been, there is no backslash. So what would have happened? This single inverted comma would have matched with this single inverted comma and the sentence would have end over here. And we don't want that. So we have given an escape character before here. So the sentence gets completed and this works. 
Now let's move on to other things for the strings. So strings has its own extent indexing. So what do we understand by indexing? So let's take an example of dog equal to husky. As I said that you can give single inverted comma as well or double. Now string is husky and indexing is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It always starts from 0. There are total 5 characters over here but the indexing will start only from 0. Now h is at 0th index, s is at 2nd index, y is at 4th index. So if you want to extract a value, how do you do that? So question is how to access a character in a string. You can access it like this. Last underscore char, as I said that underscore you can give in a name of a variable, dog4. So the fourth value in this dog is k, not k, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is y. So y will be transferred to last char and if you try to print last char, it should work exactly the same. So I hope you have understood this. This can be a little bit of confusing right now, but when we'll do the demo, you'll understand that. So let's dive into the demo part. So first of all, go to your Visual Studio code, right click over here and create a new folder. We'll maintain a folder structure and then we'll create a folder called variables. Perfect. And then just go inside. There is nothing, right click, create a new file. And you can give it a name like 01.vars. Okay, so we'll do the example over here. Let me, okay, so the file extension is Python, not vars. So we'll just rename it and give it a perfect. See, the icon has changed. So this should work. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to give a name. So we were discussing about dog, we'll give equal to, we'll give husky over here, same thing, again we'll give another dog underscore two, which is perfectly allowed, I'll just give dog equal to double inverted commas and we'll give a command husky not command, perfect, enter. And let's just print both of them print so we'll print the first one first so what do we call it dog save it and let's try to run it over here so do an ls over here it will give you so we are into powershell that's why it give the ls answer otherwise had it been like command prompt it wouldn't have given Let's choose the command prompt and do a dir over here. We'll do just the dir. And you can see it can show you the first two variables. Perfect. Folder. So let's go inside the second folder. 0 to tab. Hit enter. And we are inside. Let me just clear this. CLS. Now I'll just run it again. And you can see that the result is printed over here. This is perfect. Now I'll print the another one which is doc2. This is perfectly allowed. And you can see the uppercase and the lowercase both are printed over here. Perfect. Let me just clean this. So this is clean. Now we are going to talk about the other two things that we were mentioning in our presentation. So these are the four things that we were talking about. Now let's print all of them. So what do you have to do? You just have to type print. And... Uh, just get this over over here. I'll just copy this, paste it over here. And let me just copy this and I'll type four times. Perfect. I'll get this para two. Perfect. I'll copy this complete, paste it over here. Copy this complete, paste it over here. And that's all. That's all I have to do. Now I'll just clean this and just run the same thing and you can see that it has printed everything over here and this works fine now you can see there is an issue over here so this means that something is wrong over here let me just fix this i hope this is done and let me just clean this and run it again and you can see this has gone which means that we can write it either way single inverted comma double inverted comma Sing, single quotes in a sentence and double quotes in, in a sentence and print all of them. So I hope you guys have understood it, the difference between variables and 
the difference between strings and we have all talked about all of them so if you have anything feel free to discuss okay so one more thing interesting thing that we stopped so let me create a new file i'll just give it a name 02 dot index dot py perfect now we are going to talk about the indexing part so let's just give dog equal to husky over here that should be fine hit enter just save it now there is a string so it has from 0 till 4th index now we'll introduce last underscore cad equal to dog and we'll give a value like the fourth value and let's see if that works so we'll type print and we'll just give the last cal perfect let's see what happens over here let me clean this cls and run it okay this has run the previous one we have to run the different one so let me 0 2 tab okay whether it has recognized or not okay so my command is not there so let me just clean this this has been created outside of the folder you can see that so just drag and drop inside variables now it is here now we just have to run 0 2 hit enter and you can see it has printed the value y which is this one at the fourth index so i hope you guys have understood the indexing part the variables part and the strings part so let me just rename it so that you guys can understand it here it's rename variables and strings that's all perfect so these two programs you have understood it i hope there is no confusion if there is any confusion feel free to drop a message in your comment section and i'll address that also i'll put everything all of this code to my github account you can copy from there or just you can write from your own so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video